What is up? It's day three. Day three. On the third day of Christmas. Oh, wait, that. Wait, wrong one. Sorry. sorry. I, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Add that to just... the song. Because you got 25 days now. Uh, yeah. Can you imagine I'm how just... long that song would be if it was 25 it was 20. days? It would be a lot. It would I, be a lot. I think that song is long already. Anyways, sorry. Distracted. Day three. We guys are. We're so excited that you are here. Um, we're going to start out with the fact. Oh, the day. This one's really cool. I really, um, I thought it was very interesting, and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. So, the Christmas wreath, right? You know, the one with, like, the holly, which is green. Wait, wait, wait. What's a wreath? That's the thing you hang on your door. Yeah, right? yeah, like the like circle, circle thing, thing. And it's, like, branches and leaves yeah, and stuff. okay. So, the Christmas wreath originated as a symbol of Christ. So, the holly represented the crown of thorns, right, that Jesus wore at his crucifixion and the red berries on it that you see if you see them um, a lot in christmas things it's red berries coming off that symbolizes the blood that he shed so it's actually a symbol of jesus so next time you see one of those wreaths you can remember what jesus did for you that's really cool it is really cool. i didn't know that i didn't either until i learned that fact yeah and so now every time that i see a wreath i'm going to think about that yeah it's going to be really cool one more reason to think about jesus I love you're it. right i love it so what are we talking about today? Today, so yesterday we talked about creation, mm-hmm. and it didn't take long for man to yeah. mess up and to yeah. sin. And so we're gonna we're gonna read about the fall of man when mm-hmm. sin entered the world. That's what we're gonna read about today, which is when we like desperately needed Jesus. Yeah, like we even before in creation, you know, we were walking with the Lord, and then we fell, and yeah. then we needed somebody to save us because we couldn't save ourselves. So this is the first sign that we see where we need somebody to save us. Yeah, and and what ends up happening is Jesus comes, and we've made a mess of things. Mm-hmm. And everything cluttered up and all a disaster. He comes and cleans us up. And so we thought, why not live out the spirit that Jesus does, right? Jesus helps clean us up. So why don't we help clean some things out, right? Ooh. Go find a neighbor who needs their yard right. Maybe your mom needs help cleaning the kitchen that day. Go find something that you can clean up and restore, just like Jesus helps clean us up and restore. Um, and have fun with that and talk about the lesson today while you do that. You got anything else for us today? I think that's it. I'm it's... excited to see Christmas wreaths now. Mm-hmm. I'm going to oh, be yeah, looking for that's those. That's definitely cool. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.